Oh, it's going to be a very, very big day, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing it really well. The reason being this Monday morning is that we had 34 sales come through over the weekend, a total revenue of 1,321 bucks. The fees you can see there of 192, postage cost of 272, cost of goods that sold $213. Guys, it was a $643 weekend. So some really great numbers there, but we've got a lot of work to go and do now in shipping all of these items off. So let's get back home and uh, I'll show you what's sold. Let's have a look at the DVDs that sold over the weekend now. And we had a total of six sales come through, which is a whole lot less than what we normally get if you're a regular viewer of this channel. The best of the bunch of the weekend winners was the Lord of the Rings. Now, this was a trilogy set. So we've got everything here on DVD and it was um, including the special extended edition too. So $79.95 was the sale price for that one. A very, very good get. I did pay up for that though in the op shop. That was an $18 purchase price. So still some really good profit on that one. This High Five, Five Alive uh, VHS tape. I've got so many of these. I bought them for 50 cents each. And they don't really sell on eBay, guys. So I'm not here to tell you to look out for this sort of thing because it doesn't really sell too well. But I did get a $23.95 sale price on that. So can't really complain. I'm putting Rick and Morty in here as well. This was just a $10 sale, but it did sell internationally as well. So $20 worth of international postage, $30 in revenue, $18 to ship out. So about a $12 sale on that one. But these as well, these were just sort of 10 to $15 sales. So all in all, guys, these DVDs, I normally do a whole lot more than this, but unfortunately it was just the six over the weekend. Have a look at my door. Had the hinge fall off it, which is really not that great. Maybe there's too many clothes in here that I'm trying to, Ooh. look at that. Oh my God. I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen. So we had five, five t-shirts come through over the weekend. Um, these are the five. So let me take you through them. It's gonna be actually pretty easy to talk about these because they all sold for $30, except for the LSA or Ellisey uh, t-shirt, which I'm, I'm no doubt stuffing up the pronunciation of. But there it is there. Really, really nice t-shirt, that one. So $23.95 on that. A little bit different. So that's some of the stuff that I look for in the op shops. Just something that's different, catches the eye. Um, there might be a unique person out there that really loves the item. And um, yeah, that was certainly the case with that one there. So to get this twenty-three fifty sale price, that was awesome. Um, this one as well, so Fox Racing. I don't buy a lot of this sort of um, Fox Racing sport technology, but that was a pretty cool top that sold for $30. So um, just a plain red men's extra large size. Really good get there on that one. Um, this one I saw in the thrift not too long ago, the Stussy Zebra Print. That was just a really sick shirt. Um, that was a size, that was a size small and still got the job done there for 30 bucks. So really sweet print, even the, the zebras on the back there as well. So that was really cool to get that one done. And then this one was a uh, Billabong, vintage Billabong um, design. There it is there. So 30 bucks for this one. This was a size extra large, uh, just a really plain old school Billabong surf shirt. So 30 bucks on that one. Um, I only bought all of these for about maybe five to $10 at most in the thrift. So after postage, you're selling them for about $22.50 and you're buying them for on average about $8. So the profit here isn't that big. You're talking maybe double your money, making about $8 to $10 per top. Um, but five tops selling at $8 profit, that's still $40 in your pocket after fees and post. So it's still certainly worthwhile if you're buying the ones that actually turn over and sell. So I'm really trying to work hard on making sure that I'm buying the ones that I believe will actually sell in a re relatively quick sell-through rate. And that just simply comes down to the brands that I'm buying. Um, a brand that is really, really good is Tommy Bahama. Um, so this Tommy Bahama shirt, really, really nice shirt. I only picked this one up a couple of days ago. So this is the sell-through rate that I'm talking about. Um, didn't even know the size of this one, just had to put the measurements into the description, um, but ended up getting the sale price of $30 on that one. Probably could have sold this one for a few more dollars, to be honest with you. It's a really, really nice shirt, um, but to get it done in a couple of days, another great result there. So what's that? Four times 30, that's 120 plus 2350, $143 and 50 cents in sales coming from the shirts, the five shirts that I was able to sell over the weekend. Hey mom, the door's broken. Well guys, my problem with the plush, it continues because I've had a couple of sales come through and that only spurs me on to buy more of them. But uh, we've ended up having this big guy, the big shark, the tiger shark. This thing sold over the weekend. This was lying in the cupboard when I did a bit of a pick through the house. And I think for anybody that's new to reselling out there, you should definitely start around your own home. This guy sold for $30. I probably will be able to squeeze him into a medium sized satchel is what I'm thinking. So $10 worth of postage, $20 of a sale price. 
and then I obviously didn't have to pay anything for it. So cool little plush sale out of that one there. Um, remember the Adams Family and remember Gomez? Well, this little plush sold for $22.50 and I bought him for $2 in an op shop not too long ago and uh, it'll cost about $7.50 to ship him off. So a $15 sale price off a $2 purchase. Look, it's a quite small uh, sort of a result there, but still, like I said, I just I weirdly can't help myself with these things. Um, we also had this guy as well, Carlito. Thank you to my Instagram followers for helping me spot out who this guy actually was. Um, I picked up a few of these. You'll, you'll see here, um, there's a couple of other wrestlers that I picked up. Now, I paid 10 bucks in the flea market for all of these. And uh, this guy here, off what would, what would have been maybe a $3 purchase, has ended up selling for $27.50. So I thought that was really good. Getting done for $20 plus postage off a $3 purchase... Um, there's going to be a good $10 to $12 worth of a profit there off this guy. So um, that was an awesome little get there as well. So a couple of toys. We've got the two plushes and Carlito as well. Guys, I should quickly mention as well, if you can hear any really loud noises in this video, it's these guys here. I'm trying to film. I'm trying to film. All right, let's go have a look at the shoes. So yeah, sorry about that, guys, but here are the shoes uh, that sold over the weekend. Fortunately, there was a few. I put so much time into my shoes, so I'm really happy to see a really good number here come off over the weekend. So let me just set the camera up here for you, and I'll have a bit of a chat about these shoes. All right, I reckon that's a pretty good shot. Good for you guys. Okay, great. Um, $529 in sales on shoes. It's why I sell these shoes, guys, because there is some good money to be made. $58.80 is the average sale price for these guys. I will say that I've done really well so far with these ultra running shoes that I've bought on wholesale. Um, these ones here have sold domestically for $79.95. Now I'm buying these ultras on wholesale for $15 each. So to get a turnaround like an $80 sale price, I thought that was pretty damn epic. Um, so they've sold, these ones are the exact same shoe. I've, I've sold two of these to the same buyer over in the US. Um, now there was a $25 postage cost to get these ones off to the US and they both sold for $70 a piece. So 140 bucks in sale price, 25 to ship them off, which is pretty much what the cost will be. Um, that was an awesome turnaround off what was a $30 purchase. Um, if you watched my flea market video on the weekend, you would have seen me pick up these uh, uh, shocks these Nike shocks, so women's running shoes, US eight and a half, a very clean pair of shoes, didn't have to do anything to them, just took some photos. I've got a $65 sale price, and if you watch that video, I bought them for $10 in the flea. So really good turnaround there. Uh, these uh, Reebok Pump women's running shoes as well, these are a pretty sweet pair. These were a US nine and a half, and um, a very clean pair too. They've sold for $50, so they've got the old school pump. Uh, I don't know, actually know what they do there, but anyway, just a cool pair of shoes. 50 bucks, very happy to get it done. And then these uh, shoes here at the top uh, top corner here that you're seeing, um, they all sold to the same buyer. They're the same price, and they sold collectively for $160. So pretty much an average of about $40 a shoe, uh, two pairs of New Balance, two pairs of Pumas. And um, yeah, I was really happy to get a bulk deal done. So the shipping won't be too bad on these guys. Um, these ones are the exact same shoe, just two different colorways on the Pumas, the gray and the black. And, uh, and then these are probably the best of the bunch. These are the New Balance All Terrains. So uh, a really nice pair there. All of them are in excellent condition. $160 sale price in there. $529 overall at a $58 sale price. Um, we're doing really well on the shoes, guys. And if you're not selling the shoes, I really want this to be the motivator for you to go out there in your local thrift stores, go on to Facebook Marketplace, wherever you can source shoes for cheap, and start selling them because they're doing really well for me. Sorry guys, it's been a bit of an average old day with all this noise, can't go outside, doors are falling off, but we're still battling away. Okay guys, uh, we've also had quite a number of shorts and pants sell over the weekend. Uh, in my trip to the thrift on Thursday, you may have seen me pick up these track pants, a pair, a pair of um, Adidas Originals, women's size small, just a pair of plain black trackies, but they've ended up selling for 30 bucks, guys. So awesome little grab there because I only bought them on Thursday and I'm selling them over the weekend. Two day turnaround. Uh, something to be looking out for. These hung around for a little bit longer. They are the Levi Strauss Demi Curve uh, size 30 waist. They're a skinny boot cut. Um, Levi Strauss, you can always rely on the Levi Strauss brand. They have sold for $32.50. So I generally sell my jeans for about $35 to $40, typically on average. Um, no different here. We've got the Wrangler Stompers. So 34 waist there on the Wrangler Stompers. I do like buying Wrangler. 
I think it's a really great brand to sell and um, I do get consistent sales with it. They sold for $35 as well. So um, cool little turnarounds there. Uh, these Gold Coast Titans shorts I also picked up very, very recently in a trip to the thrift video. So um, I love buying my sporting gear. They sell really well. There's the sale price for that one there. Um, again, Thursday's trip to the thrift for another two of these. Um, we have these big, um, there they are there, the Adidas uh, big logo shorts. Uh, there was no uh, size on this one. And um, I think it was probably an extra large 2XL. I just gave the measurements in the description, basically. That's what you do when you don't know the size. Um, that one sold for about 30 bucks as well. And then uh, these, oh, I remember buying these. You guys remember me picking these up, the Chicago Bulls shorts? Well, they sold in a really quick space of time. We're talking about two days on those. Uh, size medium, um, really nice pair of shorts there, guys. Again, as you can notice, another pair of athletic sort of sport-related uh, shorts. Another pair of sport-related shorts, we've got the Adidas Golf Shorts. So these ones sat around for a whole lot longer than normal. They're a size large, a stretch fit, uh, just a really nice pair of Adidas Men's Golf Shorts. Um, they got a pretty good sale price as well. Typically about $25 to $35 on average for all of these real bread and butter type items here. There's nothing fancy about these. I'm pretty sure you can find these items in every single op shop. And you're gonna turn them around for about a $30 to $35 sale price every single time. Um, these ones were pretty cool too. I'm starting to buy the board shorts again, guys. It's uh, a whole year um, since I last bought them, but I mean, we're coming into the summertime, so that's why I'm starting to pick them up. These were the Lay Days, the Rip Curl Lay Days board shorts, and um, they sold pretty well as well. However, I think maybe about a month or two to get them sold. So that was eight pairs of pants and shorts, and like I said, very much everyday items that you always see when you're in the thrift. And I do still think there's really good reason to pick them up because as you would have seen there, most of them I only bought last week. Do you like the setup when I'm filming? I'm, I've got the little stupid tripod that's got the sticky tape that just doesn't work anymore. Look at that, L Dodjo. This is all you need to run a YouTube channel, guys. You just need a box of shoes, um, just a just a tray, which I never use, and um, and yeah, a little three-stage setup. That, that's just brilliant, isn't it? Um, we've got one more category that I want to take you through, and that is the books. I'm not listing these up, so I don't actually know why they're selling because books aren't a part of my uh, listing strategy at the moment. But um, nonetheless, guys, we had four sales. These Snoopy Snaps books, I bought these probably about six months ago in an op shop, and uh, I paid 50 cents a piece. We've got a total of nine books here. Um, so we're talking $4.50 worth of an investment. And the little Snoopy comic books, have a look at those. Really cool little stories in there, um, and very old school books uh, as well. I think they're a, a 1970, what does it say? 19, reprinted 1987, my goodness. So quite old school vintage books, they sold for $79.95. Very happy to get that sale price. Knew I could hold out, and somebody out there would want to find those. Uh, Leon Hearn, there's the author there. Look out for Leon. Um, a pretty crazy name, Leon, but um, he's, uh, there you go, I paid $3. I'm going to send it off like that. Um, so six bucks I paid for those two books. $42.50, a really good book to be looking out for. Hey, I also bought these as well. Now, I didn't pay $3. I actually paid a dollar each in the op shop, did a bit of negotiating. Um, there's a bit of a bundle here of eight, and uh, these were old school racing car news, old school vintage magazines. Magazines, comic books, they do really well. 1975 on that thing there, and um, I ended up selling that for $30. Probably could have got a few more dollars for it. It is part of a mini bundle. I've got so many more. I actually bought 90 of these books all up. I did sell another bundle for $90, um, so we're up to 120 bucks so far, and I've still got about 45 books left to sell. So that's a good little uh, collect out of an op shop. And then this one here as well, Bridget Kremer. I think the algorithm was sort of pushing books at, at, that, at that time, and uh, these ones sold for $25, uh, those two there. So I'm going to go ahead and bubble wrap those ones up, put them into a satchel, shoot them off. But um, very strange. I never sell books and we got four over the weekend. I don't So guys, everything bad comes in threes. Um, I'm a big believer in that because we've just had an absolute mare with that door. The tradesmen over here at this house have been incredibly loud all morning. And the third issue is I've run out of postage bags. So I've only done 15, no, 19. 
of those 34 sales and I've still got 15 sales to bag up and get back to the post office this afternoon. So this is actually gonna turn into a very long postage day, unfortunately. But changed my clothes, I've had some lunch, I did my 10 listings uh, this morning as well, so at least that's now out of the way. And uh, I'm gonna go and try and get myself a haircut. And I'm gonna go and jump into the gym. And then I'm gonna come back and do the second round of postage. It has been one of the most inefficient days I have ever had. Um, I was meant to, remember about a minute ago, in this video, I'm sure it's only about a minute, I said to you guys that I ran out of postage bags, I needed to buy more. Well, I went into the post office and I came out without buying any more postage bags. So I went to the gym, I got a haircut as well. Here's the haircut. I've taken a lot off the back and the sides. A um, bit of Peaky Blinders, Tom Shelby feel about it is what I'm thinking. Um, look, I don't know about it. it Hopefully it's going to grow on me, um, but with, it definitely will grow because it's hair and that's what it will do. But hopefully I enjoy it over the next few weeks. It's more the point that I'm trying to make there. Um, so long story short, I went back to the post office. I bought the bags that I should have bought the first time around. I went back home. I packaged up the 15 orders that I needed to send off. And then I went back to the post office and delivered them. And the ladies in the post office said, Matt, have you been here three times today? I said, yes, yes, I have. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, it's just been a horrible day. And now it's about to absolutely pour down raining. I'm normally meant to go and edit a YouTube video right now, this one that you're listening to right now. Um, but I don't want to do that. I'm out the front of a local Vinnie's and it's still open at four o'clock. We've got a little bit to go. I'm going to go and see if we can round out this video with an absolute grail, just to make me feel a little bit better about what has been just a very, very average, inefficient day. So if you're still here watching now, thanks very much but um, we'll see what we can do to finish it off. Nothing like a bit of retail therapy to make yourself feel a little bit better. Uh, we've got into the shoe section here and found these New Balance 247S, uh, really nice pair of shoes. And um, I was actually surprised by those comps at $15, maybe I shouldn't have bought them, but in the end I did. We'll see what we can do with those. This is something I'm never gonna leave behind, the diesel jeans. And uh, the comps on eBay, $50 to $60 for this exact pair and I'm paying just the six bucks. We've got the Belthers. So it's a 36 waist, a 32 length on those. Should get top dollar. Also, the brand that I've already spoken about in this video, the Wrangler. These are the Texas Stretch. I'm just paying the $5 for these guys. A really, really good brand to be selling. And uh, 33 waist, 32 length, not too bad. Look through the books and the DVDs, but hold on a minute. What have we found here? I've got a really good plush with a $3 price tag. I can't be saying no to Taz. Surely you wouldn't say no either. The problem with the plush continues. This one is definitely coming away with me. I'm thinking Facebook Marketplace for about 30 bucks on that guy. The books. Whenever I am buying books, I'm buying book bundles. And as you can see, that is the reason as to why. So uh, this collection looked like a pretty good one on eBay. Therefore, for uh, $6, yep, I'm picking that one up. Now, timely. We've got the cricket season just about to start. So I found this book bundle. I reckon I can push about 30 bucks for it. Only cost me the $8. Timing is everything, my friends. Not too bad of a run. Well, guys, not too bad of a run there. Seven items, $44 was spent, and the total estimated resale value on eBay, 265 bucks. Take out fees, postage, cost of goods. That's $130 worth of profit once it all goes on to sell. And we even found Taz for $3. How sick is that guy? Um, so, look, this is just one of those days. We got everything done today. I'm pretty happy the fact that we've achieved everything. It just took a whole lot longer to tick off the normal. And I'm gonna spend now the evening editing up this video, which is what I usually do in the afternoon. So, you know, just one of those days, unfortunately. Sorry that I was a little bit out of sorts in the video. Um, hopefully there's enough footage out of the video to be able to edit up a good one. Um, if you're still here watching now, thanks very much. I really do appreciate it. And um, we've got a big trip to the thrift coming this Thursday, which I cannot wait for. So. I look forward to catching you then, guys. Appreciate you being here. I'm going to take Taz and I upstairs and get these items listed, and we'll sell them hopefully by next week's episode. Thanks, guys.